Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going back to Rico Harbor to do shine number six, which is red coins on the water. Um, this is yet another uh, video response I did to Chuck or Conroy a while back. Check my random videos for that. I'm not going to explain more than that. But basically the challenge was to do it on the pink blooper rather than any other blooper. But I'm going to do it on the yellow blooper this time just because, as I said, it's the most balanced one. And it's the one that I have the easiest time controlling. And what, what the heck? Mario! Jump on the logs properly! Anyway, it's red coins on the water and you have a certain time limit to do that. So ground helm this switch and quickly get on the blooper of choice. So you're surfing along the water here. Just take your first turn wide like that so you have a nice straight shot down here. Follow the coins to get these red coins just like that. There's three. And number four is coming up right underneath the helicopter landing pad. Whoa! Came a little closer. And I would recommend avoiding the coins here and just taking the path around those uh, masts. Or what, I'm not, what am I saying masts for? Posts? <laughs> I don't know. Well, because a mast is a part of a boat. So yeah, there's number six. You have to jump out of the water for that one. And oh, I missed number seven. Number eight's between those two boats. Um, I'm gonna double back here, well, not double back, just turn around in a wide circle, and grab- Whoa, 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 did you see that? I touched the wall and I didn't die. What? I swear, I'm really unlucky, I'm, I'm, I should say I'm really unlucky with blooper races, like, I, I tend to touch things, but I, yet I'm super lucky because I don't die when I do that. I don't know why, I've always been like that. But anyway, just- Take this turn wide, and yes, you have to get the shine sprite on the blooper, so line yourself up and jump for it! What the? Oh shoot, I switched bloopers accidentally. I jumped on the pink one. So I guess I have to get this on the ultra fast, ultra hard turning pink blooper. And here we go. Got it! Woo! Number seven is Shadow Mario Revisited. Every seventh episode in a level is a Shadow Mario battle. So, yeah, let's go take him out again. His weakness is always the same. Is spray him with water, and that's about it. But this one's quite tricky. In fact, I would probably call this one the trickiest one in the game because of the fact that you have to fight him on ow on the scaffolding, and since he's so very unpredictable. He either knocks you off, you fall off trying to chase him, or other things can happen along the way. He's already down? Wow! Well, that works for me. <laughs> and there's the shine. <laughs> Alright, since I get, can't get shine number 8 just yet, because I need a certain thing that I'm not going to reveal just yet, I'm going to go over to the next level, which is Gelato Beach, over by the lighthouse here. Yes, an actual lighthouse! That's over here. Yeah! I just thought I would reference that again for the fun of it. And, of course, as before, you squirt the M to activate it, and then you go inside it like so, and there you go. <laughs> Next level! Woo! This is the Doombud Sandcastle secret. Uh, as it is implied, there's a sandcastle and there's a secret in it. In fact, it's right there, but the sandcastle isn't popped up just yet. But it shows you the actual Doombud that you're supposed to use. It kind of it kind of spoils what you're supposed to do here. But yeah, this is Gelato Beach. It's very pretty. And uh, you can spray these things to make things pop out of the ground like that. Woo! And that's basically how you find the sandcastle. <laughs> but, and remember I said that they just showed the correct one that you're supposed to spray? Uh, yeah, that's the correct one. And those things are called cataquacks. They flip you up in the air. The red ones cause damage, the blue ones don't. Uh, you can spray them and stomp on them for a coin, but that'll be for later for a 100 coin mission. But anyway, just get to the sandcastle before it falls away, and you're once again going to get robbed by Shadow Mario. You know, after you get a shine in one of these things, it's kind of weird. Like, you could just keep your flood, but somehow you manage to get it back. I don't understand. Anyway, these are sand blocks. When you touch them, they immediately start dissolving. 
So don't stay on them for too long. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, looking for... Oh, no, 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 no! Whoa, poopers! Looking for one-ups here, if possible. You know, just in case I should die. And just to show you where they are as well. I forgot... Where, though? Was it one of these nails? I always think it's the nails that hide one-ups. There's probably, like, only the first one that has that. Oh, there is one there! Yay! The other one, I mean, that other one probably just has coins, so I'm just gonna ignore it. I would highly doubt that they would put two one-ups right next to each other so close. And just keep running across here. This isn't that hard at all. And since you don't have your flood, though, you have to be careful. Now, your objective is to get up there. See that where it's shining just above the my life counter there? So, get up here like this. Whoa! Climb up. No, 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 Okay, I'm just, I'll just use this side if you want me to do that game. I'll play along with you. And there we go. Climb up. Stairs. Don't hold on to them for too long because they'll dissolve. And there's your shine. Not too hard. Okay, the next shine on Gelato Beach is Mirror Madness Tilt Slam Bam. You remember those cataquacks? Well, we're going to have to knock them off these mirrors. I, I didn't show the mirrors in the first song because I just went straight to the sandcastle, but I'll show them off now. They're like reflecting mirrors. They're, they're almost like... Uh, well, I'll, I'll let the cutscene go. <laughs> there's a wiggler up there, and then there's those cataquacks that are on those things. Yeah! They kind of remind me of, like, sun panels that absorb the sun to, uh, give power to things. Solar panels, yeah, those things. But they're mirrors, they call them. I don't know why. They, they remind me so much of solar panels. But anyway, the objective is to, to get up on top of them and get rid of those cataquacks that are on top of there. So... You can do this a number of ways. The way that I like to do it is to use the trees, just like that, and... Oh, this one only has one. There's there's one that has... Uh, there's one that has one, there's one that has two, and there's one that has three. The idea is to squirt them to the edge with your uh, flood, and then ground pound the other side of them to flip them off the mirror like that. It's not hard to do at all, it just takes a little bit of practice, though. So, I'll just go over to... Whoa! The second mirror, which is right over here. I should just be able to get up there from these trees. And this cabana there. Whoa! Don't tilt that that way. I don't want... Tilt it somewhere that I can run. There we go. Let's see if I can get this guy off of that. And... Slammy! Oh, I failed! That's okay. Come on. Flip! Oh, come on, man! Maybe they have to be, like, slightly stunned for you to get them off or something like that. Are these cataclysms? You certainly don't seem like you're normal cataclysm there. Well, I got... Oh, I remember now! You're supposed to get them all the way... All the way to the edge until they get a little topsy-turvy like that. And then you can flip them off. Well, it's a little bit late there with the timing. Oh, come on. I'm going to shoot you at this thing. Like, like that. There we go, now I'll have more time to get to this end, and flip it off. And the mirror, once again, magically goes into place on its own, and lights up whatever that thing is on top of there. Um, I believe that's supposed to be the, the sandbird egg. I, I think, but it certainly doesn't look like anything a bird would be in, honestly. I mean, if you, you can look right through it, it looks like some sort of atom. Anyway, you can get up to the third mirror right from there, just like that, and this one is, of course, harder than the rest of them, because there's three of them. And get off two. Did I get one off? Yeah, baby! Oh, yeah! Successful run is successful. I, I'm being a lot more successful than I was in the other part, or I should say other shines. Except for that Shadow Mario battle in uh, Rico Harbor. That was unprecedented. That went a lot easier than I thought it would, and... This one also went really easy, and that takes care of that. And watch us. This is this is kind of gross. It like it like melts that wiggler that was sleeping on top of there apart into multiple pieces. Like makes it fall apart or something. Ew. And the shine for some reason appears way over back at the sandcastle where we got the first shine. 
So let's just slide over there. Oh, lost my water because I hopped. And there we go. Alright, the last shine that I'm going to do in this part is Wiggler Ahoy, full steam ahead. It's a, a immediate boss battle. Basically, that Wiggler that we knocked off the top there, it's now angry and it's not dead. How? We've seen it fall apart into multiple pieces. Um, the objective is to spray the Doom Buds on the beach there and get it to flip over and then ground pound the segment of its body that turns a different color. So let's just... Walk right into this one here. Oh yeah, successful! Oh yeah, it doesn't change color, there's an arrow above it, but whatever. It indicates his weakness, just ground pound it, yeah. And now he's gonna get a little bit faster, of course. You just have to do this three times. Uh, eventually, after the second hit, he'll move to the other side of the beach. And can, I, can I get him, like, right off the... No, I guess not. Let's see, can I get him right off the bat? But that would be, like, way too fast. Whoa! This is actually gonna work out well. <laughs> So maybe this successful part is very successful. And now he's gonna go all the way over to that side. I don't know why he does... Well, I, sh I should say I know why he does that, just to get away from me. So, let's just follow him over to this side and get ready to spray a Doom Bud. I think this one will work here if he goes over to it. Oh, wait, he's patrolling that one over there where the Sandcastle used to be. And, uh, what does this Noki have to say here? Yeah, these, these are Nokis. We'll see more of them later. Don't come this way! <laughs> Too late, I'm here now! And spray it, get it active! Oh, did that work? Did that work? Oh, no, it didn't. Let's try it again, got away from the cover once again. He, he usually follows the same path, that's why I say I know that he goes, he goes over to this area somewhere. And he's flipped over! Hurry up, Mario! Get on top of him! And he's in the ocean! Hurry, walk on his body! Yeah! And he turns to sand. Why do enemies keep tra transforming into, like, different textures? Ew. I don't know why bosses do that. No, I should say, not enemies. Because I, I, I just caught that I said enemies and not bosses. It seems like bosses when I change them dif into different textures. Anyway, that's all for this part. Grab your shine, and I'll see you in the next part.